I also harp on um, uh, Taylor Sheridan and uh, the whole Yellowstone universe. Cause like, yeah, you know, the, the strong female character, Beth Dutton, perfect. Like, I mean, her character arc, it's like, okay, yeah, she's a bitch. And then you're like, Oh, that's why. And it, you know, it makes for a nice complete character. And Um, and Lucy in uh, Lucy McLean in uh, this fallout, she's the least offensive thing about the show. She's very likable. She has a very good arc. She's got a couple fight scenes and it was, I didn't think it was like, Whammon or like a you know Ray Skywalker or it was like it was all explained it made sense. So, so full disclosure, I've only watched the first three episodes. Badger, which, I know you. It's like three hours. Thing. You can't get the the hang of something by three. That that was my point. I was like, boy, did they take a long time getting through to some of the okay. character moments. Yeah, I mean, I, I so like I don't mind Lucy Maximus. Like I was telling you backstage, I, I find. I don't know what the guy, the guy, the actor's name is. He just can't act like he, like you mentioned, he, he might be a better version of Finn from star Wars, but that still, you know, doesn't say a lot. You know, it, it, there's something we said. He gets about better. Him. He does get better. I, I don't think he's a bad actor. It's just, I think that the character that had him is like, he's borderline retarded sometimes. And I yeah. think that is them. Like he is very childlike to the point of like, he makes a comment and joke about not knowing about erections and coming and shit like that. And that leads to some very like, boy, like I'm not saying there weren't sex jokes in uh, fallout, but the way their dialogue, it was just, Oh, it threw me out of it. And like, yeah, like I told you, none of the humor actually made me laugh when I know they wanted me to. Yeah. And I mean, Fallout is known as a series that it's, it's a satire, you know, American culture, just like Earthbound was. Got that. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was. It, it just all the jokes are falling flat. Um, overall, That's the thing I don't understand now. It's like these shows and these movies that are coming out are meant to be like the peak of cinema. Like you have to earn your right to be able to direct, write, produce these types of shows and movies. They're hiring think- these writers that haven't earned that right yet. They're just not good enough yet. Not to say they yeah. won't be later down the line, but if you can't write a funny joke, you you don't you don't you shouldn't deserve that opportunity yet. Like everyone sucks in the beginning. I understand. Yeah, well, that all is definitely true for Disney. Yeah, they <laughs> their writers specifically. This I think is more because I was noting it was like it wasn't just Jonathan Nolan. Most of these episodes were written by other people and directed by other people. And the failure wasn't like the jokes maybe would be funny, but like in, in the context of Fallout, a bunch of shit threw me out. Like the DEI casting yeah. threw me out. Some of the commentary and dialogue just threw me out. Um it's just I don't know. Again, that's where I'm like, maybe I'm broken. I have to watch too many horrible things by bad people yeah. that I, I don't have the ability to gauge. Uh, were you able to watch any of it, uh, Jesse? I know it just came no. Out. I haven't seen it yet. That's why. Yeah, yeah I'm just staying out of, of no, no, to, like, no. Comment it's, on it's, several. I think I was right on some things, but on others, it's like the world itself. Have it you played any of the Fallout games? Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so like it's super accurate and loyal to the game's lore and like the look and feel and all that. So at least with this, it's like it's certainly no no sin like Halo or a Rings of Power or anything like that. It's not disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, and it had like a, a lot of good references to the games, like the special abilities when she it said a lot. Her, first talking about her endurance. Uh, yeah. That that I, I really liked. Then uh, the stuff with the bottle caps which I guess like normie audiences wouldn't know that you know, I, they're going to have, that's what I was saying. It was like, I, I sort of had to stop calling it key jangling. Cause it's not key jangling. They just literally created the fucking fallout world there in live action. So everything that would be yeah. there is there, all the weapons, all the things when people talk and the things they do, I'm like, Oh, he's doing like uh, the uh, Walter Goggins character. The ghoul is very clearly using the addicted perk. Mm-hmm. Uh, which in the games is uh, you suffer heavy withdrawal effects, but as long as you're on stims, you get all these benefits of like, there's a scene where he's just everything he can get his hands on drinking. It's like, now, unless you played the game, you wouldn't yeah. know about that. You would just think this guy's right. got a real problem, but you wouldn't get that. He's doing that first. But I, like, again, I, I think I give it as like a, I want to say 6.5 out of 10, but I could say I'm going to probably go to seven out of 10 mm-hmm. eventually, you know, in hindsight. And I, almost all of my complaints for the most part are just like, I find the DEI casting distracting on some of the things. Yeah, like what, what was uh, that squire or whatever? Uh, oh, the chick. I'm like with the mustache, it, 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 very it like a very gender fluid look. Starts speaking, and I'm like, oh god, no. I, I have less of a problem with it in a post-apocalyptic and/or vault yeah. where you would have a very balanced racial like 
thing for genetic purposes. It's the retro 50s. Like, I'm sorry, it's still supposed to be our 50s. Interracial marriages were not condoned or common at that point. Everyone had a perfect makeup at the party, and everyone on the board is like, oh, the black woman. This is like, no. Even now, we're not that diverse. That's the whole DEI point is that like 70% of board members are white dudes. <laughs> are you fucking telling me in the 50s? It did that threw me out. I know. And everyone's like, yeah. I could hear. Because everyone says this when you point something out, like in something fantastic like this, and they go, "Why do you care about that? But you don't care about robot or any dumb shit." And it's like, but that's the point. In, in a world like this, be it Star Wars, or whatever, the more fantastic shit you want me to believe, the little things need to just make sense. Yeah, so yeah. I don't. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, so why do I suspend my disbelief for the bigger ones, like the FEV and ghouls and shit like that? Yeah, and like the uh, the the little thing that really I, I hate that the show hasn't addressed at least through the third episode was uh, when you're eating food, you're getting rads. So when she's, uh, when she's asking for water, that's dirty water. That's not her purified water from the vault the and water. They do God address point. that. That's a fucking plot point that she, she drinks irradiated water. That is addressed. Oh, uh, okay. All right, all right. All right. The food people eat like the yum, yum deviled eggs and other yeah. things like that. They don't they're mention wrong. that it is preserved through isotopes and that you're getting low level rads, but it could be inferred and assumed that that like, that and the water drinking tops her off. She again, I think she had the best storyline. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're not watching all eight episodes, it basically is more or less the plot of uh, Fallout Three, where the Lucy character is has to go out of the vault to look for her father. Meanwhile, uh, everyone is looking for this guy that has left the remnants of the Enclave and has a MacGuffin, which is not a MacGuffin because you actually find out what it is, and it is a suit, and it's an important relic from the old world. So eventually, everyone, for one reason or another, is looking for this Enclave uh, guy, uh, you know. Played by the so guy. So everyone, all roads are leading in the same direction. I forget what the actor's name was, uh, the guy that uh, played. Yeah, he was in uh, Lost and a yeah. couple other, yeah, no, he's good, That that's. Man, it, like the brutality is there, but sometimes it did throw me out when it's like, oh my God, just, it's supposed to be violent and gory, but it's, I guess when you use it, that could be serious or goofy or just right, like over yeah. the top. And trust me, I'm desensitized. So for me to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, mean, I, <laughs> I, I try to go for the uh, killer, what was that, killer shot perk? Where I just go for a headshot every time in the game. So oh, and, like, you could definitely tell he was using vats in a couple of the right. fights. Yeah, just yeah, how yeah, quick yeah, exactly. And, the yeah. scanning which is like the player sitting there spamming the left bumper trying to see if vats picks any any target up like again i i do i just wonder because if you're watching it there's a lot there like the ox horns and the guys on youtube that analyze lore videos they're gonna fucking crazy i can't wait to watch those videos yeah yeah but yeah. i wonder what a normally a, a normie that doesn't know anything about this yeah thinks of what's going on or how yeah, i mean just like we're saying backstage about the brotherhood like none of them were acting as they should with like honor whatever and you know, i don't know whether that's bad writing bad acting i'm actually super glad about what happened to michael rapaport's character because i can't stand him as an actor or as a human um <laughs> he shows up in like a cameo uh, very yeah. briefly uh but like he doesn't act like a brotherhood of steel person no. and i'm sure lore x because i've sort of heard him say it and there are there are very different amount of chapters of the brotherhood of steel and even though this is west coast even on that coast there are different ones and that this one is clearly a more monastic version uh, but they're really were leaning into like corrupt catholic church corrupt type of things um as opposed to a more like sure monastic obviously they're knights and scribes and shit but they do have more virtues and that i don't know you could yeah it's a, it's a choice it's certainly a choice i mean my my ocd went off when the guy's like Oh, a, a mutated bear. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's a Yao Guai. It's a Yao Guai. <laughs> yeah. So then you wonder how colloquial the terms are. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, that threw me off. But I mean, that's just my OCD nerdiness really kicking <laughs> into overdrive. You know, that's, that's a minor thing. So, I mean, so three episodes in, so far, so good. Yeah. I, I guess yeah, if I've you're a watch fan it. of really Fallout, watch yeah. I say if you're a fan of Fallout and you played the games, I guess I could recommend it. Yeah. I don't know if I would recommend this to someone who doesn't know. Yeah. That has limited time to be like, here, go watch eight hours of this. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very, it does cater to the gamers. I, you know, with, with, with all the little Easter eggs they left around, um, uh, remind me the, uh, the the pink creature in the in the lake because uh, I, 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 I never played Fallout seventy six. The gulper. 
the gulper yeah, yeah. I, you know, I was i was thinking like that originally was um their interpretation of a Meyer lurk but i guess that's not yeah, no, there were a couple yeah. things we didn't see we didn't see any of those we didn't see super mutants oh yeah um i thought for a second we were seeing uh new california republic uh yeah. rangers but it was just the armor it was like the la riot squad armor someone was using but it was oh. a nod it was a nod to it yeah yeah, I mean, I don't know if like the show in the second season or wherever is going to go down. Like the gets one, it's, it's set it up for a second season. I will say that. Okay, yeah, I mean, like because the the most one of the more interesting parts of New Vegas was all the factions, yeah. and you know, having to make a choice of like, well, who you go. I will with. say maybe the last shot of the series is a certain city. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. So I, I, they got my interest peaked in it, but it's strictly yeah. for not because it was great television, but because I'm a fallout fan and I want the lore because this yeah. is all in current times. So everything that's happened is like the newest information that we've gotten mm -hmm. since fallout four. So th this is what's supposed to be taking place. What? 10, 10 years before or after fallout three or four It is the most recent one. So it should be just after fours is 2272 or three or something, uh -huh. somewhere like right after where, so like yeah. water should be purified on the uh, East coast. Thanks to mm. the third game right. and the fourth game, the Institute, uh, the mass assistance, whatever they were doing all the synthetics, they should be taken care of by the soul survivor. Uh -huh. And then there should be a whole brotherhood chapter on the East coast. This is all on the West coast. Um, we you find know, out what happens to Shady Sands, which was a okay. city from the earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler, not good things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do, do you know if they dropped any hints for Fallout 5? Um, or, no, but if really? you were to infer what that MacGuffin is that he's carrying from the Enclave, uh, Enclave and what they end up doing with it, Oh, that could be a setup. I don't know if that's just obviously yeah. a setup for the second season, but that would be a very, that is the biggest event to have happened in the uh, Fallout universe since uh -huh. I think the water purification technology of the third game.